everyone. I uh, hope you're all okay and keeping well in these very strange times. It's very quiet in school without all the children, but we are trying to get them some work to do. So this week you should have received a letter about using Google Classroom in school. So all the children have been allocated their own username and password for a Google account and I'm going to show you now how to set all that up. So if you go onto the internet and go onto google.co.uk um, if you click on the sign in button and then it will ask you to sign into your account. So on the letter the children have all been given their own account so I'm going to sign in with one that I've done. They all end in dot Woodhouse or they all end in at woodhousewest.sheffield.sch.uk and then on the letter as well your child will have their own specific password. So once they've typed that in it will welcome you to your Google account. Uh, as it said on the letter the accounts have been disabled apart from being able to use the classroom. So for safeguarding reasons, the children can't use it as an email account, they can't send emails. It's just a way of communicating between teachers and students. Um, so once they've accepted the terms and conditions, um, you might want to change the password. Please don't actually, if you just leave the password as it is. So just reconfirm the password that you've got. Let's do this very quickly. So now you can see that it's changed now to a T for T for teacher, yours will change to whatever your initials are. And then here you've got your Google Apps. So the one we're going to use is Classroom. So the children are going to click on the Classroom and then they will continue as they are and they'll click on I'm a student. So they're going to be a student. So they click on there and then what it will ask them to do is to join your first class. So you're going to click on here and you're going to join the class and by the time this goes out or just later this week you will have a unique code for your child's class. Every teacher in school, every class teacher in school has got their own unique code and you will receive that during the course of the week so that your children know which class to sign up for. So I'm going to join one that Miss Harrington has set up for me. So. So you type in the code and then you click join and fingers crossed this will work. There we go. So then it will load up and whoever your teacher is, they've all done a little title. So it will say either Miss Harrington at year two or Miss Mellor year two, Mr Hartley year four, whatever it might be. So this is the sort of thing that you will see when you open up. So you've got three, so three tabs across the top. You've got one that's called a stream. You've got one that's classwork and you've got one that says people. Your stream is a little bit like a Facebook post, if you like, or a, or a Twitter feed. So your teachers are very much missing you all and they've made little messages to say hello and sort of keep in touch. So they might share something with you that will be there and you can click on it. You might want to say hello back. So if I wanted to say, hi, it's Harrington do that and I can send it to her um, and she will pick that up when she opens up her account and then that's there and you can see that's gone on. You might want to, if mums and dads are okay with it and, and say that this is all right, it gives you the option to add other things. So you might want to add uh, some homework that you've done just off your own back that's not been asked for from school. You might want to add a link to a video that you've made at home if you're doing something with your family out in the garden or anything like that that you think you you know you'd like to share with your teacher if you've got them or some photographs that you've been doing I know lots of you have done some fabulous learning at home anything like that you can share on this page and Miss Harrington and your classmates will be able to see that but they're the only people that can okay it's all it's all locked down and secure so that's kind of an update of things and just a little message board if you like the most important one you at home is the classwork one so if you click on classwork you can see that Miss Harrington has made a reading folder your teachers will have made a reading folder a writing folder a maths folder and a foundation subjects folder so uh, science art history geography all those other things that we do in school um, so what you'll need to do is you click on the task that's set and they will you'll know which tasks have been set for you because they come up 
So Miss Harrington has made a reading comprehension on sharks. Okay, so she wants us. So we're going to view the assignment. So on your assignment, you can see that you've got sharks, PDF. So it's given me some instructions. I'm going to read and answer the questions. So the first thing I'm going to do is this is my PDF for my question for my information, so I know where to get the information from. And then my work is over here. So click on here, and I've got some information about sharks. So I'm going to read my information about sharks. If you want to, you can print it. If you've got that facility, that's entirely up to you. Um, so I've read that, and then we're going to go back. And then here, I've got the work that Miss Harrington would like me to do. So I'm going to click on here, and then you can see that she says, right, so name two types, sorry, name two types of shark. So I'm going to go for a tiger shark and a hammer head. Okay, so there's one. And what can a group of sharks be called? I believe it is a shoal. So there we go. So I've done I've done my two answers. Um, if you want to, you can delete the lines. It's up to you, but there we go. Um, and then the good thing with this is it will automatically save it for you. So you don't have to click on save or anything like that. It will automatically do it. So you've got a tab at the top. You're just going to close that tab. And that will automatically have saved. And then you are going to hand in your work okay and you click on it says one attachment will be submitted and you hand it in wait for it to finish and there you go and then when Miss Harrington logs back in she can see that I've been a good boy I've done my homework and I've sent it in uh, on the screen as well there are some there's options for comments so where it says private comments all that means is that a teacher is going to give some feedback to the children individually. So it might say, uh, well done, you have got questions one, two, and four correct. Have another look at number five. And then you can then open it back up and you can go back and have a look at number five and then you can change it, okay? The teachers are going to comment as much as they can. I think in terms of expectations, one of the two, so each, uh, sorry, I'll get my words out and start that again. Each week, the children will have two pieces of work per subject. So they'll have two pieces of maths, two pieces of reading, two pieces of writing, and two pieces of topic work. And then teachers will at least comment on one of those pieces for each subject. Um, if children can do the feedback, that's brilliant. And then once it's sent back, that's great. So it's not going to be keep going back and forwards, but it will be marked with a comment from the teachers, and children can just see how they're going on. So it's going to be a little bit like you get in your books at school, kids. So you'll have your pink, what you've done well, and then your green, can you go and have a look at this? And then that will be set for you. And um, other than that, the other, the last little thing on it when you have a look is if you then go on to people, you don't really need to worry about this. The people is just all the people in your class. So you've got your teacher, but then also that's it really. It will just show you classmates. So the main two things that you're going to use, just again, the other thing that your teachers will do is they will set you a deadline. So at the side, when you go into your stream page, it will tell you when your work is due to come in. So on a Monday morning, you're going to get new work and it will tell you, because it will be more detailed, it will tell you when each piece of work is due in. Okay, so you can prioritize. So you might have some work that's due in for the Tuesday. So you might want to do those pieces first. Um, so remember, your stream is a bit like your, your Facebook or your Twitter feed where your teacher's going to say, hello, just general class comments. You can say hi to each other. You can, you know, you can say hello to your classmates as well. You probably haven't seen each other for a while. Just remember, it is a school site, please, so keep it sensible. I'm sure, you, I'm sure that you will. Um, and then the classwork one, you go into there. You will see when your teachers have done it for you, you'll have a reading, maths, writing and foundation subjects folder and there will be work in there for you. So you click on the work, you'll have some instructions, you might have a video attached to it, you might have a PowerPoint attached to it. You will have enough instructions, fingers crossed, for you to be able to complete that. If you're really stuck, then you are more than welcome to go on the stream and you can say, oh, Mr. Rua, could you please 
I don't quite understand what to do with the maths, could you please send me a bit more information and then I'm sure your teachers will be quite happy to do that. Okay, but the reason we've chosen this is we just wanted to have a bit of interaction between the pupils and the teachers. It's been a long time that we've been away from school. It feels very, very strange. Like I said at the start, school is very, very quiet. It's a very strange place to be and we are missing you all. So hopefully this is a way of, of keeping in touch, keeping up with things that you're going to be doing. It's all linked to key skills for each year group. Um, so if you come back to school and you've had a good go with, with a lot of these things, you'll be on the right track and hopefully we will see you all very, very soon. Okay, thanks very much. If there's any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.